My name is Luke and welcome to Kirby Live for Tuesday the 15th of March. Hello, my name is Ali and I will also be presenting with Luke today. On today's show we will be talking about the need to clean up the oval and we also have some information from your SRC. But first, you may have seen some older students walking around in orange vests at recess and lunchtime. They are the peer mediators and let's go to the girls who will be finding out a bit more about them. Hi, we're live at the Kilbury Valley Friendship Station. You might see people wearing orange vests at recess and lunch. These people are peer mediators. So today I'm going to be interviewing Willie. So, what's your job as being a peer mediator? Our job is to go around the school and to help kids to find solutions and to solve any problems. Why is it important to have peer mediators? It's important so um, we can help kids to make new friends so they where they are learning and they have something to play with. What is your advice for solving problems? It would be to look at both sides of the story instead of just listening to one person. So, is it hard solving problems? No, it depends what problem it is and most of the times it's not hard to solve. Thank you for your time, you're welcome. Today I'm going to be interviewing Alyssa. So, what is your job as a peer mediator? Um, it's basically just to help kids if they're hurt and if they're a bit lost or they're feeling a bit sad because they can't find any friends. Why is it important that we have peer mediators? It's important because if the teachers are a bit busy or like solving another problem, the kids can come to us so we can help them um, figure it out. And What's your advice to solving problems? Um, don't get frustrated and mad. and start yelling at them, you just got to stop and listen to both sides of the story so um, so then you can solve the problem and try to figure out what happens. Is that hard solving problems? No, not if you stay calm, but if you start getting angry and yelling, then they start to think they're in big trouble and then it just turns into a mess. Thank you so for your time. That's okay. If you ever need help outside, look for your closest peer mediator. Now we all know what the peer mediators do. To be honest, I didn't even know until now, so I've learned something. Hey Luke, do you know how dirty the oval has been lately? People keep on lettering and before we know it, our precious oval will look like a garbage dump. I know, it is just terrible. Let's take a look on how to keep our oval clean. Hello everyone, I am Ethan from Sixth JN and we're gonna be talking about the rubbish on the oval. Let's get to it! My name is Ethan from Sixth JM and today I'll be interviewing Miss New Mrs. Newport um, about the um, rubbish on the oval. So why do you think people dump rubbish on the floor? Um, I think sometimes when people go outside they're a little bit too excited about getting outside to play. Yeah. And uh, they take their rubbish with them and, and drop it outside. So that's why we have our um, the shaded areas for eating um, with rubbish bins around. So. Um, yeah, hopefully people start getting a little bit better at using the rubbish bins. Yeah. And do you care about the environment and why? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's why we're always encouraging children to, to pick up rubbish and to make sure it goes in the bin because we don't want the rubbish going down the drains and ending up in our oceans and hurting all our, um, well, hurting the wildlife and the, um, the ocean life as well. And what would you do if you see someone um, dumping rubbish on the floor? Well, apart from being pretty disappointed, I would probably ask them to, to pick it up and, and explain why it's so important to pick up your rubbish. And then I'd probably get them to pick up a few more extra pieces just to hopefully learn the lesson and make sure that next time they put their own piece of rubbish in the bin in the first place. So, thank you for being with us. Thank you, Ethan. Thank you. Hello, my name is Ethan from 6 JM and I'm going to be interviewing Zoe from 5KB about um, the rubbish on the oval. So, how do you feel when people drop their rubbish on the oval? Uh, it makes me feel upset about the environment because you're polluting the um, animals' habitats who live there and it's just like you can't be bothered going to the bin. Yeah. What do you do when you see someone with a I tell them to stop throwing it on the ground, go and put it in the bin, or sometimes I'll go and pick it up myself and go and put it in the bin or get some rubbish tins from the, um, the recycling room and then pick up rubbish. Today I have Siobhan from 5KB to talk about the rubbish on the oval. 
So how do you feel when people drop your rubbish on the floor? I feel so bad for the environment. And what do you do when you see something here? I pick it up myself or I ask someone to pick it up. Yeah. Thank you for your time. Hey, you there! Pick that up! Come on! That was a good video and uh, now I hope you all listen to them and not dump the rubbish on the oval. Yeah, that was great. And now it's time to have a quick break and we'll be back to soon to interview Chloe from the SRC after the break. See you soon. Hello Kilbury. I'm here to talk to you about the fun run which will be coming up in March, Friday the 18th. So if you're in grades three to six, I hope you've been practicing your running at home after school because you'll be going out to the wetlands to do your big school fun run. If you're in grade prep to grade two, from 11.40 to lunchtime, you'll get to come out and you will also get to practice your fun run. Now this year, we've got some awesome giveaways that if you can fundraise a certain amount of money, you get to come away with a big prize. So make sure you keep your eyes open and look around the school for the posters and you'll be able to work out which prizes you can get. After the fun run, when you're all hot and sweaty, you get to finish the day with a nice icy pole. So start that fundraising, start the training, and we'll see you there. Hope you all have been practicing for the fun run to win a medal or a fun prize. But the main thing is helping our cool school and don't forget you will receive an ice ball at the end of the fun run. Now, our special guest today is Chloe from the SRC and she's here to talk to us about the upcoming 5 cent challenge. So Chloe, what is the 5 cent challenge? The 5 cent challenge is just a way to raise money for the Good Friday appeal by bringing in 5 cent coins and the class with the most 5 cent coins is going to win a prize. Chloe, do you have any tips for people who are looking for five cent coins? Yeah, just like look in the car, under your desk and maybe under the couch. And for how long does the challenge run for? It starts today and you can't bring any more coins in after Wednesday the 23rd of March. Thanks Chloe. Last week St John Ambulance came out and took some first aid workshops for year twos and two year sixes. Here are some highlights. Welcome back. Before we go, it's time for the important dates. March the 18th is the fun run. I hope you all have been training to raise money. March 21st is Harmony, Z Harmony Day, so get excited for that. And Thursday the 24th is the final day of term and school will finish at 2.30pm. And finally, we have one super important day. Everyone wants to know when the Oval will be reopened. And we can officially tell you that the Oval will be opened today. Yay! Yay! Run, jump, skip and enjoy it. And remember, keep it clean. Well, that is it for Tuesday the 15th of March. We hope you enjoy your week. Have a good one. Bye. Peace nuts. <laughs>